who killed our little brother. And who else was involved? Fuck you. See, that's the wrong answer. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not telling you nothing! Fuck you! Know as a crew showed up at the same time we did. That's oh, it. Then how the hell do you know that? For all we know, it could have been you that set this whole fucking thing up. Told whoever all about this. Have you lost your mind? I've been best friends with him since grade school. Not to mention I've been working with you for quite some time. If you're gonna shoot me, then do it right now. Yeah, well, you haven't been fucking working with us for that long at all. You could have fucking orchestrated the whole goddamn thing. Stop. So tell me, stop, Ren. Fucking little brother's dead over there, man. Don't you understand that? Is any time for that shit, Jesse? Oh yeah, when the fuck is the time, man? I could have orchestrated the whole thing. He's right here in the room with us. He's fucking enemy. Fuck you. You're not family. It wasn't me, Jesse. Relax. Just relax, Jesse. Relax. 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 Calm down. Relax. 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 Don't oh, fuck you. Don't fucking touch me.
solving it? Yeah. You really want to take him up to Valencia right now? Yeah. Bury him where Grandma's buried? All right, man, if you say so. Why didn't you see them walking in? We were busy. I don't know, actually, how the hell am I supposed to know? One moment it's business as fucking usual, and the next moment there's three big guys that are showing up in black ski masks. They got fucking guns, and they open fire on me and Ori. And what were, fuck, it's just the cash drawers. So we start fucking firing back, and then all of a sudden, just plop, 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 plop. Everything else just fucking goes to a blur. I don't remember anything. What the fuck do you remember? Same thing. Ren and I go for the vault. You and Orion go for the cast drawers. That's his plan. And then what? Ah. I don't fucking know, man. Ren and I fucking, we come out of the vault and we see three guys with black ski masks on opening fire on you two. We proceed to open fire on them. I should pop one of the motherfuckers too, actually. Okay, so then you and Ren, you guys come out of the vault, and then it's just everybody's blasting, right? It's a fucking war zone, right? From what I remember, yeah. Okay, so then... Orion gets hit, and he goes down, and then these guys, they just, what, they, uh... They just, they just disappear out the fucking front door, like, shortly afterwards? Yeah, from what I remember, fucking yeah. And then we grab... We fucking grab Orion, and then we go into, we take off in the fucking van. I didn't see those guys, though. Okay. All right, so if I'm gonna rob a bank... I'm gonna rob a bank, the exact same bank, on the exact same night, in the exact same three-minute window as us, and it's just gonna be us accidentally running into them? Really? I mean, does that make any fucking sense? They know of us. Yeah, okay, well, how How do they know of us, Ren? What, like somebody talked? Yeah, other people knew the plan, but nobody knows our routes, except for me and you and this fucking guy. I don't have anything to hide, Jesse. No, it was someone else. Who? Who, Ren? We're not at fucking war with anybody else. You need to relax. Yes. Yeah. I'm fucking tired of you fucking telling me to fucking relax. I don't need to fucking relax. All right, our little brother just got fucking killed. So why don't you, I just, I need you to please get that through your head. I'm gonna go make a phone call. Okay, good. Go make a phone call. That's bullshit. So how do we not have enemies? People are trying to interrupt our business. Why don't you tell me, huh? I mean, obviously, we do have enemies. It's basic economics, Gage. There are crews out there, and they are watching us, and they are seeing the kind of cash that we are pulling from these kind of fucking jobs, and so what are they doing? They're gonna take out the fucking competition, right? I mean, uh... Isn't that why you snitched us out? Jesse. I need you to stay cool. You need me to stay cool. Ren needs me to fucking relax. I'm fucking fine. 
All right, why don't you give me the fucking room, Gage? Why don't you give me the fucking room, Gage? Yeah, we can talk all about that when you get here. See you then. Ben, what are we doing? Got Jerry coming over to help us out. Yeah, Tony's boy. We're in that dude ain't reliable, man. Well, he was in the past. Yeah, that was for something totally different than this, and you fucking know it. Well, look, listen, he's got good connections, all right? You can find just about anybody in this city. All right, so then what are we doing? We're gonna wait, and then we're just gonna send Jerry on a wild fucking goose chase through downtown LA? No. I'm gonna pull the security cameras from the bank. Might just tell us something about these guys. I mean, the motherfucker does know every single corrupt son of a bitch in Los Angeles, so. I'm serious. Motherfucker did some back research for me a few years ago. He's fucking reliable. Yeah, well, we'll see, because I'm not still sure about the guy, Ren. Look, I agree with you, Ren. I think we should check him out. What? Yo, man, if anybody knows who these guys are or could fucking find out, it is Jerry. And you know that. Yeah, the last time that you gave advice on something, you were wrong. Right. So you're actually the last that's person enough. that should be giving advice that's on anything. Enough. Why don't you go pick a hey, fucking lock? That's enough, and you man. leave the thicket to me enough. and my brother, huh? Listen, that's enough. Now look, I'm gonna run down the street to the house and get the supplies. Jerry will be here in about an hour or so. Yo, what would you are not leaving me here with this guy, huh? Yeah. Fucking me. You want to be useful, Gage. Help me gather up a couple of chairs and go into the next fucking room because I guarantee you that Jerry's gonna to want to have a little sit and a chat with each one of us. Good. Fucking looking forward to it. Good, yeah. You make sure you've got your fucking story straight, Gage. <sighs> Stay cool, Jesse. Oh. Fucking always lippy, mother. <sighs> hey, man, um. Yeah. Look, this shit from earlier. Sorry about that. Look, Jesse, I know we're not blood, but we're brothers. So I need you not to sweat that. Not your family, man. You've been fucking good to us, you've been loyal. It's just we had everything planned out, you know? And then these guys, they show up and they shake everything loose, and then, boom, they get the drop on us. We didn't know. How are we supposed to know that they're coming in while we're leaving? They don't want you to get shot. It's all wrong. I'll tell you that. See, man, see, that's why it's got to be a setup. Those guys, I mean, they showed up, and they were ready to handle business. I mean, the masks, the guns, they didn't just want the money that we wanted now. They, now they wanted us dead. The way of enemies we don't know about. It, yeah. <laughs> I mean, yeah, there's plenty of crews out there that they want the jobs that we take because of the money that we make, but they can't do what we do, man. They can't do it in under three minutes.
We had everything planned out, man. Like, we had everything planned out. All right, listen up. Jesse's gonna explain everything. All right, guys, this is what we got. It's a bank job, and everybody's gonna be going in on this one. Orion, you're gonna be the wheel man. There and back, you're gonna park the van on the southeast side of the bank. Now, guess what, guys? It's also gonna be a night job. Ren and I were talking about it. It's just gonna be the best time to hit this bank. There's less foot traffic, and there's less chance of us running into somebody with a gun. Now, with that being said, there is a on-duty armed security guard. Now, the good news is he takes a single 15-minute break for lunch, so we're gonna go then. All right, and everybody's gonna go warm, just like always. It's a safety precaution. Gage, Ren, you guys go for the vault. Orion and I, we go for the cash drawers, and that's it. Wait a second. What about disabling the security cameras beforehand, like we usually do? Yeah, see, we're just not gonna be able to. Fastest response time that the police have for a bank when an alarm has been triggered in that area is just under three minutes. And so guess what? That's exactly what we've got. We've got under three minutes. You gotta believe me, bro. I've timed it before. And if we get separated? Jesus Christ. Let the man finish. You mean if the cops show up while we're there, everything goes to shit, we gotta abort the whole thing? Yeah. Cops show up. Some of those go out the front. The other go out the back. There's a lot of things that go wrong. Exit number one is gonna be the front entrance. The second exit it's gonna be the fire exit, and that's also on the southwest side of the bank. Now, for some reason, if we don't make it to either of those or everything goes to shit, we meet at the local 7-Eleven in the alley, which is about eight blocks northwest of the location. Or, and if you can, grab the van, then grab it. And if not, then don't worry about it. VIN number's been removed. We got it covered. What time's all this going down tomorrow? It's gonna be 1.30 in the morning, man. Is that it? Yeah, I mean, that's all I've got. Ren, did I leave anything out? No. We good? I'm good. Yeah, we good. All right, that means we're good. So let's prep and let's make some money. Jesse. Hey, uh, what's up? Did you find what you were looking for? Yeah. Food and water. Okay, so is that it? Yeah. All right, so what's next? We wait. We'll be here soon. Can I get a drink now? No. I think that this guy would not show up on time. It's Jerry, you know who he is. Is this him? Fellas, it's been a while. Good to see you. Man, I heard about what happened. Yeah. Yep, you guys have my condolences. Where's Ren? He's inside. Just follow me this way. Ren, it's good to see you, brother. Sorry for your loss. How are you holding up? Just another day. <sighs> Fellas, Ren told me what happened over the phone. And I just want to say, I want to do anything I can to help you guys out. That's why I'm here. Gage, how about you? What's new, brother? Oh man, just saving up money to get my kids out of the fucking neighborhood. Oh, that's right. You still living on the south end, right? Yeah, I hate it, man. I hate it there. I'm trying to get them to college, trying to get... Yeah, 
trying to take care of my kids, man. Yeah, right. for me. yeah, I hear you. I got two myself, born six. Them rascals are a handful. Yes, they really are. Shit. Ren, anything new with you? Nothing. Yeah? Damn. It's been a while, fellas. Guy, when was the last time we hung out? <laughs> a couple months ago at that sports bar where that fat red-headed cross-eyed kid was trying to pick a fight with you? Yeah, yeah, no, I remember that. The, uh, Ren had had a couple of too many drinks that night and he got up from the table, right, and he knocks this chair over and it hits the glass and it goes spilling all over the table and ends up going over this dude and his, uh, his date, right? But then somehow the guy decides that he's gonna start blaming me for not paying my bill when the two things, they weren't connected whatsoever. Yeah, but you're forgetting that this was just a poor college kid, man, just at the bar, getting a beer, trying to impress this lady. And you forget that he was also <laughs> trying to act like a hard ass and I hate that shit. What don't you hate? Yeah, mm -hmm. sure, but he was trying to act hard, all right? And I hate that shit. You know, what was crazy, though, was how a girl that hot was with the dude that looked like him. It's because he was paying her bills, man. Shit. You remember him and his boy at the end of the night, too? Okay, Jesse, you're right. They were challenging us. They were at the entrance. We were walking out, putting the chest all out, trying to act like they're fucking hard and shit. Yeah. And then you see me walk out of the bar and go up to those two guys, look them right in the eyes, and you know what they wouldn't do? They wouldn't look me in the eye. You know why? Because they were scared. They didn't want nothing. And I should have just knocked the dude's teeth out right then, you know, just based on principle. I remember she was super transfixed on you. Nah, man, she was looking right past me. She had her eyes on Orion. Ladies always had their eyes on Orion. All right. That's enough. <clears throat> hey, my bad, Ren. Sorry. It's business now. Well, goes without saying, guys. Uh, you guys are pretty much fucked. Yeah, you think? It was a setup. Yeah, see, that's what we thought, too. So, I'll tell you what, here's what I can do for you guys. As you guys know, I pretty much know all the major players in the city. So I don't think it'll be too hard to find out who hit you guys up at the bank. But I do have a few questions. Which bank was it again? It's uh, Westland Bank on 4th. The one in downtown? The only one. And then uh, the guys that hit you up, uh, do they have any tattoos or markings or anything like that? They were covered. Do you remember how tall they were? Height, build? Uh, first guy, 6'2", 220, 230. And next guy is about 5'6", 180, 185. Uh, third guy, 5'8", 5'9", 200, 220. I, it's a guess. OK. Do you remember uh, how many cameras and where at the bank? Three at the entrance, looking at the cash drawers. And then two, looking at the vault door. Three inside the vault. Excellent. Hey, one of my guys can break into pretty much any bank camera there is in the city. Mm. Uh, I'll give him a call tonight, make a few calls to guys on the streets. If I come up with anything, I'll be in touch, which should be soon. Good to go? Nice. One more thing. Um, when you do find these guys, you just go ahead and you bring them right here. Okay? Yeah, don't worry about it. I know what I'm capable of. Do I look worried? <laughs> Gage, anything else? Just let us know what you find out. Ren! Anything? No. Well, all right. I'll be in touch. Good seeing you guys. <clears throat> Thank you, sir, that we didn't have more for you. Hey, no worries. It's good catching up. Ren, again, sorry for your loss, brother. Thanks. Be in touch. Frederick, aren't you? Come in. 
So this place of bank you know of, what exactly is involved? How much money? About $10 million. And how do you guys plan on doing this? Well, we pull up in your van, and then we go in, we hit the vault, and then we hit the cash registers, and then we get out. We do it at nighttime while the security guard's on break, and then we do all of this in under three minutes. Okay, good. But if I'm lending you one of my vans, I want a cut of the money. It's fine. It's how much? Good question. You guys still owe me from the past. How about 25%? It's that. fine. Okay, good. When you get the money, we can meet somewhere so I can get my cut. Now, I've trusted you in the past, Ren. Don't fuck me on this one, man. All right. What else? I'm good. Just let me know within the next week the time and date this is going to go down. So I can give you the van. All right. That you got Gage still with you? How's he working out? He's good. He's a hard worker. He's all right. Well, that's good to hear. Glad things are going well. Super simple. You guys go for the vault, we we'll go for the cash drawers, and then we're in and out in less than three minutes. Yeah, really, there's nothing else to it, man. If we do run into that security guard, just gotta take him out. I'll take care of any would be heroes. And everyone knows what to do if we get separated. Yeah, I run, we got it. Where are we gonna stash the money afterwards? I got a place for it. God damn it, all right? We've got it. We've done this a million fucking times, okay? We go in, we grab the money, we get out. Let's just make this run as smoothly as possible and everybody gets home and everything's good, right? All right, right. You expecting someone? It's probably Alan. I told her what happened. Who is it? Helen and Violet. What the hell is going on? What the hell are you doing here? Ren talked to Helen and told her what happened. What the hell were you guys thinking? Did I invite you over? You're an ass, Ren. You always have them doing these stupid jobs, and that's why you guys are on the spot you're in now. First off, no one gave you permission to come over here, so you're lucky that Ren let me know that it was going to be you, Helen, at the front door, okay? And secondly, don't you ever talk to my brother like that again. You're an asshole, Jesse. What? Come here. What did you do? I didn't do anything. You're unsafe, Ren. Orion is dead. These little stupid business deals are the reason he's not here anymore. For what? For money, lady. What'd you think? As you said, this is a fucking business. It ain't our fault that Orion ain't here no more. Oh, fuck you, Gage. You guys are screwed up. You don't think straight. Look, I'm sorry. That was rude. I'm sorry. Just trying to explain the situation to our friend Helen over here. Don't ever ask me for help. For anything.
What else is there to talk about? Well, you tell me. You're the one that came all the way over here. Why'd you get into the car with her? Because. She told me what happened, and I didn't think it was true at first. It bothers me. How did he get shot? Normal way with a gun. All right, look, I'm sorry, okay? We were going into the bank, and we grabbed the money, and we were on our way out, and these guys came in with ski masks. Took us by surprise, and Morian, he got, um, he got shot, and he went down. All for what? How much money? We're talking $10 million, babe. Was it really worth it? Yeah, it was worth the risk, okay? I mean, we didn't know Orion was gonna get shot. This whole damn thing's been a setup. A setup with who, Jesse? I don't know, all right? That's, we don't have any idea. So what do you guys plan to do? Well, we've got a guy working on it, okay? You know Jerry? All right, he was here a little bit ago, and he's doing some footwork for us, okay? He knows the business. He's gonna lean on a couple of people. Then what? You're gonna go after these people? You're gonna end up dead, Jesse, if you keep going on with all this. Okay, look, I know that you're concerned, all right? And I do, I appreciate that. That's very, very, very sweet, okay? This is my business, okay? And you gotta trust me, okay? I should have caught on to this stubborn attitude you have when we first met. You just never listen to anyone but Ren. Babe, he's my brother, okay? I'm going to find Helen. Babe. Babe. Cannot believe that. Yeah, go ahead and hang out with Helen. Yeah, show up I'm trying to get my thing done. You know what I mean? All these broads, I don't know what's wrong with them. You know what I'm saying? Each and every single one of them, they start out as a princess. They start out as a princess, right? But they always could be a queen. You know what I mean? Like, they got all these answers and all these solutions. None of them make sense. None of them are logical, but yet they're going to fucking tell you what they are exactly. Do I tell them what to do with their nails? Do I tell them what to do with their hair? What do they fucking do and tell me about my business? You hey. know what I mean? Showing up to where we're trying to get shit done, hey. and they're telling me about my business. Hey, shut up. Talk too much. Never shut your fucking mouth. Why don't you sit down and relax for once? Mm. He's obviously a little high strung right now, man. It's fine. You ain't gonna tell us or show us, but that's Ren. Yeah, well, this whole bank job was his idea, right? And he shouldn't even be in this situation. He knows it. Jesse, don't do that. We all plan this together. We have no worry in. It's none of our faults. Don't start that. That's what you girls say anyway. Hmm? Aren't you listening? It was a bunch of madness, as always. You know, she's just running her mouth like she knows what she's talking about, but it's mm -hmm. just a bunch of shit flying out of her mouth. <laughs> I mean, she seemed a little crazy, but I like crazy. But she absolutely seems off her fucking rocker. Yeah, well, she is off her rocker. The rocker's right here, and then the porch is, like, right here, and then she's, like, just, she's, like, somewhere over here. She's nuts. Yeah, I can tell, man. <laughs> oh, thank you. So what now? What are we gonna do, Ren? We wait for Jerry. Okay. I get that. So what happens when he brings these guys here? If he brings these guys here? We force Sanchez out of them. And how do you plan on doing that? Well, how the hell do you think, Gage? We're gonna beat it out of them until they tell us what we want to hear, okay? And if these guys are the guys that were involved, then their bodies are gonna get dumped in a nearby river. We'll wait for Jerry. We we'll get our answers. We we'll get out of town. <clears throat> How the fuck do we know they're not on their way right now? We don't. God, for crying. 
Christ's sake, man, nobody knows about this place, all right? Unless we actually brought them here or told them that we were here, then nobody knows that we're here, okay? I mean, that's what you say. But what I'm saying is they could be on their way here right now and they could know it was us at the bank. Huh? Look, I'm not going anywhere, okay? Until I know who killed Orion. And there's a lot more dangerous people that are looking for us than just the cops, all right? Somebody knew where we were gonna be and they knew the exact time that we were gonna be there. Look, look, look. Wait for Jerry, we handle business, and we get out of town. Hi, Ren. It's your call. Is that Jerry? Who is that? Shit. <clears throat> hey, what's going on? Got some info for you guys. Damn, you guys look like shit. You guys haven't slept at all, huh? Well, I was. Till your ass came and woke me up. <laughs> well, that's good, because we got a lot of work to do. What do you got for us, Jerry? Let me show you. Well, gentlemen, shall we? Wait a minute, where's Ren? Oh, there you are. What's going on, brother? Good to see you. Jesus Christ. You guys are some melancholic motherfuckers. Why isn't anyone talking? What do you got for us, Jerry? Anyways, I got some good news. I got two suspects for y'all. Check it out. Remember that tech guy in my crew I told you guys about? Well, he was able to access the surveillance footage from the bank you guys hit. It turns out you're not gonna believe this. He was able to identify the fucking scar on the tall one's right hand. This is Diego Hernandez. Apparently, there's only one guy in the city with a scar like his. This guy is Cyrus Dixon, Diego's right-hand man. Word on the street is, wherever Diego goes, Cyrus goes. So I'm pretty certain Cyrus is one of the guys that hit you up as well. Oh yeah, the third guy's still a mystery man, but I'm still working on it. So then you are not 100% certain about this Cyrus guy then, is that right? Well, technically not 100%, but I'm pretty goddamn certain he was there because Diego was there. Okay, so how do we get these guys? And then what exactly can you do to help us out? Oh, I got my guys scouting these two right as right now as we speak. Shouldn't be too hard to pick them up and bring them here. So how exactly do you plan on picking them up and bringing them here? <laughs> hey man, don't worry about that. You know how I do it. But it's like a gang, right? I assume. So ain't y'all gonna need an army to pick them up? Yeah, well, they are a low-level dipshit crew, but they do run about 20 deep. Oh, that's great, okay. 
So we've got like 20 guys that are going after us then. Yeah, pretty much. And how are you keeping them off of your ass? Well, that's the thing. They're not expecting me. But once I pick up Diego and Cyrus and they go missing, their crew is going to be suspecting you guys. No, without a doubt. That's okay. true. Okay, so this uh, Diego Hernandez guy, like what, is he the leader of their crew, huh? What makes you think that he's gonna be easy to get to? Nah, I'm not too worried about him. He's just a mid-level foot soldier, not too bright. And what do you want from an exchange from us? Nothing, brother. I'm just trying to pay you back. Oh, but guys, but do me a favor. Keep my involvement with this. Hush, hush. It's not a problem, man. We're not going to say anything. Right on. We're good. Right on. Well, I'll be in touch when I got something delivered to you guys. Ran, we good? We're good. All right. Thanks for your What do you think? There's no other options I know of. Okay, but do you think he's gonna do what he says he's gonna do? No, there's no other options as I said. All right, man. If you say so. All right. I'll be in the other room, fellas. Gentlemen, thank you for uh, allowing me to take your money. That's trip five right there, gentlemen. Up, 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 up. I, sorry, I, I'm new to the game. Um, what do they call it? Uh, pocket aces? Oh! oh take the pot. Is that take, good? Take the pot. Is that thank good? you. Yes. Yeah. No, it's very good. Oh, I'm proud of you. Yeah. Man, I'm going to Vegas, baby. Yeah, well, you're going to learn and lose everything that you just took in Vegas. Lose? Lose. Have you not just been here? I don't lose, my man. I win. Mm. <laughs> the Vegas. Vegas is a different game there. Vegas is a different game there. Let me tell you something. I spend a max of $40 when I go to Vegas. $40. $40. I'm oh, serious, boy. man. 
And to God, 40 bucks. Mm. All right, how? Yeah, would you like to know? Don't worry about how, all right? Just learn how to play cards. I'm actually really curious. Uh, I want to hear this. Bet you are. Yeah, I want to hear this. Yeah? Big man has spoken. All right, well, first of all, as soon as I get there, hit the liquor store right away, all right? <laughs> get a cheap bottle of booze. Nothing too cheap, but, you know, cheap enough. Then hit the strip, meet a hot older lady, you know, classy, though, you know? Charm her, naturally. Uh, most women her age find me irresistible. Yeah, 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 yeah. And because of that fact, she then pays for my chips for the rest of the night. Mm -hmm. Yeah. <laughs> I, I'm serious, man. And I'm posted up at the poker table like a big shot, and they're bringing me free booze all night. All right, well, I really do love you, man, but you are a fucking drunk and a liar. Because the last two times that you was in Vegas, we was right there with you. Hello? Your point being? Point being that you were fucking passed out at 10 p.m.? Yeah, well, it's Vegas, right? Nobody's supposed to be coherent in Vegas. Oh. Listen, guys, <laughs> say whatever you want. <laughs> but on a more serious note, and I mean this, I'm all gonna make a lot of money off this job. Enough to live off forever. Leave town. More importantly, leave this fucking business. How about you guys? I don't want to be doing this forever. I want to have kids, you know, family. Amen to that. So, please, all of us, let's play our cards right. Get it done safe. Cheers. Cheers. What's up, big brother? You good? I'm good. You ready? I'm ready. Real simple and easy, right? Just like last time. In and out. Under three minutes. Nothing more, nothing less. Right. I don't know. Jesse, he doesn't seem sure on this one. I don't know why. He's always like that. He's fine. Yeah? If you say so. You ready to do this? Let's do it. Let's get out of this town, brother. <laughs> oh, Mr. and Mrs. Clean. What's up, boys? Oh, man. I was over at a short stop the other night. You remember Mrs. Cooper from down, down the street? Crazy Mrs. Cooper? Mm hmm Well. I ended up meeting her daughter. Fucking hot. Smoking hot. Crazy as a fucking lab house rat, but hot. We're hanging out, having a few shots, whatever. All of a sudden, stuff she wants to try ecstasy. She says she's never done it before. She says she wants to do it for her first time with me. So, of course, shit. I get on the phone. I start calling everybody, man. Whole city's dry. I can't find a pill to save my life. So I call Vinny. You remember Vinny? Vinny and Leah? Oh, yeah. So, he's in Vegas. But he's got an emergency stash in his front yard. Soda bottle filled with pills buried under a rock. Hey, man. I'm gonna call the kids, yeah? No. I said, all right. He said, yeah, just take the money, put it in the bottle, take whatever pills you need. Said, Great. So I tell the girl, now she's like a fucking kid on Christmas, right? Mm -hmm. She can't keep her hands off. We're heading there immediately. So get the GPS, get to the address, the address that he gives me, get there. And it's not one rock. There must be 15 of them spread out all over the whole yard, right? So I call them, no answer. So I just start flipping and digging. And nothing. I'm, I'm digging. I'm up to my fucking elbows, man. You would have thought I was trying to, like, break out El Chapo. <laughs> the yard is a complete mess. I'm getting pissed. I'm digging with anger. You know what I mean? I'm digging it, it's piles of dirt, flipped over rocks. She's yelling, did you find it yet? <laughs> fucking Right? There's an old woman I notice all of a sudden looking at me. Freaked out, he's going, George, George. And then here comes some old guy, man. He just comes out of nowhere, enraged. What are you doing to my lawn? This is fucking, I went to the wrong, I went to the wrong fucking house. <laughs> I should have known it 
was way too nice for Vinny. <laughs> He's freaking. I don't know what to do. I'm, I just, I'm frozen. I'm on my hands and knees. And this guy, I mean, seriously, man, you shouldn't see. It was like Caddyshack with all the holes all over the place. I'm freaked out. I don't know. I just, I gave him a Christopher Walken. I just, I said, I don't know. I, I lost my watch in the yard. Apologies. I send you a bill. He said, "What?" I said, "See you later, asshole." And fucking ran off. I didn't know what to do. The girls yelling. Vinny finally texts me. He lives on North Orange Grove. I get to his place. Boom. Dig four inches. One rock. Boom. It's right there. No problem. <laughs> didn't work out anyway. The girl ended up getting sick. I'm holding hair above the toilet all night. Didn't even get laid. Mm. Fucking disaster. <laughs> Jesus Christ, Dorian, that's a <laughs> sad fucking story I've ever heard. Yeah, fucking sad <laughs> stories, right? Hey, if this job goes right, it'll be the last fucking sad story I ever tell. There we go. Let's go get in the character. Fucking Mrs. Cooper, huh?
Yeah. I'll be there in a few minutes. All right. Cyrus, huh? Yep. This is him. Where'd you find this guy? At his house. Found out where he lived. How'd you figure that out? Google. Well, it looks like you guys tuned him up pretty good. Yeah. The little fucker put up a pretty good fight, actually. Let's bring him inside. You came and shooting at us, and you killed my little brother Ori. And you see, that is the shit that I can't forgive. You gonna talk? Hold him down. Uh -huh. Fuck all these! Hey, we got all day and all night to get our answers. What do you want to do, huh? He's gonna make it harder on himself. Not gonna talk. This one's fucking ground. Why didn't you shoot him, Ren? You know what I'm asking you? All you did is you thwacked him on the head with the butt of the gun. That wouldn't kill a dog. So yeah, he's still in there. He's still breathing and he's still alive. Shut up. All right, look. Even if Jerry is not 100% certain that this dude was with Diego and the other guy, he still needs to be gone. All right, it is blood for blood time, and I know that he runs with them. If Jerry doesn't bring this other dude, all we have is this guy for answers. Okay. So what, this guy's not gonna say anything? He would have already. You said that, those are your words. This guy had his chance, let's just get rid of him, Ren. Wait. I hope you know what you're doing, bro, because I'm at a total loss. There he is. Diego, what's up, my man? How you doing, brother? Everything good? What's the latest or the greatest? Same shit. You? Just like you, my boy. I'm trying to make some money and enjoy my freedom. Yeah, how long you been out now? Ten years, man. Can you believe that shit? Yeah. Where did you do your bit again? Easter State Pen in Philadelphia. Oh, okay. So... You glad to be in the sunny weather, huh? Yeah, you know, it has its pros and cons. Yeah, well, uh, what can I do for you today? You wanted to meet. Straight to the point, I like that. Check this out, man. I know these youngsters doing a bank job in a few weeks. 
a bank in downtown called Westland Bank. There's $10 million in cash that are going to be taken, and I want you and your boys to go in there and intercept the shit out of that money. Hmm. And how do you know these guys? I met them at the pool hall shooting this shit with Joe. Right. We've all done business together, you know, we're all good. All right. Well, why not just get into the bank ourselves and forget even trying to run into these dudes? Don't that make sense? Because they have access to the vault where all the cash is at and they can get in and out of there quick. Let me tell you something, man. There's no one in the city that has a set of skills and can move as fast as them, you feel me? So, you want them to go in and grab the money and you want us to come in and clean up the mess? Yeah, pretty much. What's in it for me and my guys? What do you want? Man, what does everybody want? A portion of the money. How much? What can you offer? I can offer you and your boys 20%. Nah, I'm gonna have to think about that one. How about 30? Well, you sure as fuck didn't think about it too long. <laughs> fuck. I can do 30, but that's it. All right. 30 it is. Very good. It's gonna make us a shitload of cash, my man. Tell us who shot Orion. Hmm? You make yourself suffer. <clears throat> Listen. I already know you were at the robbery. And I already know that you took shots at us. So if I were you, I'd man the fuck up and tell me. I don't know who shot him. I believe you. But it doesn't matter. Maybe it was you. Maybe it was Diego Hernandez. Maybe it was that third motherfucker that I shot. Same thing. The only thing that matters is that we've all come together here to figure this shit out. And we have a lot of work to do, man. We have a lot of work to do. I'll be seeing you. told me everything over the phone. Frederick knows as well. He tells me who you have in there, locked up in some room, and you're trying to get him to confess to killing Orion? Oh, yeah? What else did Frederick tell you? I mean, is that why you came here? What the hell are you guys thinking, huh? Have you lost your mind? That guy you have in there is an important member from the east side the territories of the city. And he has ties with many people. Well, here's the thing. I don't really give a shit who he rolls with. Well, you better. These guys will come looking for you and will unleash hell on all of you. Good. You know why? I'm going to be waiting right there for them because they started a war with the wrong people. And that war started the moment that they killed my little brother. There you are. You're an idiot and ignorant. And you don't listen to what I'm telling you. So I am telling your brother here. But he doesn't seem too smart either and he's listening. What is it that you want from us? I am trying to save your lives, goddammit! Oh, God, what are you really here for? I mean, tell me exactly what it is that you want. Well, if you really want to know, Frederick wants his cut of the money. There wasn't any money? Because we got into a shootout as we were leaving the job, and we got a little fucking preoccupied with it. Bullshit! You can tell Frederick to call him about the money. 
He doesn't care to talk to you. He just wants his cut. I don't give a shit about his cut. If he wants his cut, then he can call Ren or he can call me, and we will happily fucking discuss business with him. Well, then, if you don't want to give me his portion, and that's what you have decided, I will tell Frederick. Look, if I were you, I will leave town now. The man you have in there is an important member from the east side. And his guys, as sure as I shall, will come looking for you. I'm just giving you a fair warning. Well, thank you. But we don't need it. Okay. Okay. I wish you both the best of luck. Th thank you. I don't give a shit what she says, and I don't give two shits about Frederick. If he wants his money, then he can come fucking by here and get it. And as far as Cyrus's crew goes, if they want Cyrus, they fucking come here too. Fuck. Let's get back inside, man. What she want? Nothing. No, she's run her fucking mouth like she always does. <laughs> yeah. Well, let's not try talking to the dude in there and, uh, you ain't giving an inch. Of course. involved already just doesn't want to rat out his friend and I can respect that I can even admire that but that dude would have been gone a long time ago if it wasn't Ren that was calling the shots oh, I know it but Ren calls the shots yeah thank you for reminding me I'd forgotten well, I guess now we just wait for fucking Jerry Yo, what's the deal with you and Ren? Why are we doing this shit for free? Shit, man. You really want to know? <laughs> I mean, we ain't going anywhere. Well, let's just say Ren helped me out big time about five years ago. I had the goddamn Chinese, the Russians, and the Armenians after me. Oh, heavy hitters. Yeah. So, so what happened? Well, oh shit, there he is. Yo. All right, cool. Yeah, just continue to keep an eye on him. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we'll be there soon. I'll be in touch. All right. You got him? Yep. It's Diego. He's at the diamond bar on Nathan Stewart. Is he alone? Yep. Let's light this motherfucker up. In due time, my friend, in due time. <laughs> Yo, I don't want to be that guy, but haven't been paid in a couple weeks. Hey, listen, man. I'm gonna pay you next week, all right? Bro, I gotta pay my rent. I need this money. What the fuck did I just say? I said I'll pay you next week. Now shut the fuck up. All right, let's roll. Excuse me? Listen, motherfucker. We roll when I say we roll. Is that fucking clear? Got it. What the fuck's wrong with you? Jesus Christ. You guys already know Tony? 
This is one of my new guys, Adrian. How's it going? Good. You? Jerry told me about the situation. Wanted to help out. I know you. They used to run a business with Troy, huh? A side hustle. Back in the day. Yeah, I know Troy. He used to look out for me. Made a lot of money on the side with Hector and Ruben. It's been a long time since I've seen those guys. Last I heard, tried to leave town. Had a death wish on his back with some guys from the south side of the city. That does not surprise me one bit. Yeah, well, he wasn't the smartest guy, if you know what I mean. Yeah. He owed a lot of people a lot of money. There's only so much time where people could take that bullshit. Anyways. Well, Ren, I got something you might want to check out. Fucked him up. Uh, we found him by himself at his usual bar. Picked him up not too far from there. So you guys uh, tuned him up pretty good, just like the other guy, huh? Yeah, pretty much. Anyone see you tune this guy up? Oh. Went real clean. One punch, one knockout. Picked him up, threw him in the trunk. Real smooth. Uh, we'll take it from here. Thanks for all your work, man. Uh, anything we can do to repay you? No, no, we're good. Like I said before, I'm just scoring things up with Ryan. Uh, well, thanks, man. Yeah, yeah. Hey, look, uh, before I go, though, you guys sure you don't want any help questioning little <laughs> Diego here? I uh, kind of miss doing that kind of work. We got it. And if you need us for anything, you know how to reach us. Yeah, yeah, no problem. We'll do. Well, it's all yours. All right, boys. I fun with that piece of shit. I'm gonna grab his arms, you grab his legs. Oh, yeah. Take him out. my little brother. Yeah, that's right, you see, we were the other guys from the Westland Bank downtown, and then you guys show up and you fucking shot at us! <laughs> you see, we need answers. So are you gonna tell me what I wanna know, or are you gonna be like your bitch friend in there and tell me fucking nothing? <laughs>
Brother Jesse said they never got the money, which I know is a lie. When did you see them? I already told you. They didn't want to hand over the money when I asked them and said they never got the money. Did they say anything about Cyrus? Yeah. Ran did over the phone before I went there. You know, I never saw Cyrus while I was there, but I know they have him somewhere in the warehouse. At least that is what Ren told me on the phone. So they do know about him. Yeah, they know. I told them, and I told them they are fucking crazy. They know where he's from. Well, I don't give a shit about Cyrus, Diego, and their crew. The money is my concern. I know. That is why I went there for you. What else did Ren say about the job? Nothing, really. More than what he told me on the phone. He said that when they went there to do the job and were grabbing the money, Saros and the two guys you hire came in the bank. Then they start shooting at Ren, Jess, and the rest of them. His brother was killed, and they never walked out with the money. Saros and the two other guys were guilty of it. That's it. Well, I know they grabbed the money. Ren's not that dumb. If I have to go to his warehouse myself and get my money, that's what I'm going to do. Just get someone else to do it. Like who? Someone in mind. Just get Ren and his boys a few days. Good. Hey, wake up. Wake up.
what did they do to you? <laughs> what does it look like? Where did they find you? In my house, and you. Put up in this piece of shit ass car, hopped out and started whooping my ass. I was the Asian guy and two others, not these guys. It's the last thing I remember. Yeah, same here. Uh, uh, so, I take it these guys are the motherfuckers we got into with at the bank. Yeah, that's them. At the bank, they had masks on. But the guy we shot was the brother. Really? Fuck them. They should all be dead along with their punk ass brother. That's what I'm saying. It was a fair fight. It ain't like they didn't all shoot back. Yeah. But fuck them. Next time they better kill me. Check it out, though. I got two. My man. Good shit. Look, the next time they try to come here and do some shit, I'll shake one, you hit the other, and I'll take care of the third. Yeah, man, we gotta get out of here. <sighs> Fuck! We should have taken them out when we had a chance at the bank. I know, right? The one guy, the buffer one with the Pee Wee Herman haircut. He's the head of the pack. The other two are just his little bitches. So take him out first. I got you. I know. Damn, man. When we were in the bank, why don't we grab the money, though? Fuck. I know it. See, but look, these guys had some motherfucking heat. All we had was some pistols that your boy gave us. Think about it. We would have been rich and left the city and Frederick wouldn't have got shit. <laughs> Look, see, everything's going good with the plan. Then all of a sudden, two others come from the back of the bank. And we had to get the fuck out of there. We did it right. We went, we went in right after they did, through the front, which we thought was best. Catch them off guard while they're doing their thing. There's an emergency exit on the side, too, but I hear it's hard to break through. No, see, you were right. The front entrance was the best, like you said. They never expected us coming in like that blast and shit. The money, though. We didn't get anything. It's whatever. See, sums up. Frederick never told me there was gonna be four of them. He just told me some guys were hitting the bank. It ain't like we haven't been shot at by four guys before. Yeah, I know, but it's always good to have a heads up. Either way, we didn't get shot, and they did. True. So what are they paying you? What are they paying me? Look, man, we have our own agreement. I owe them some favors for some things they did for me in the past. But why? Well, I can pay you double what they're paying you. I'm sure they're paying you something. Look, they're not paying me. Like I said, I owe them a favor. Is this why you called me in here? No, I've heard a lot of good things about you from other people. I think we can work with each other on this one. How did you uh, find out about the guys I used contracted for Ren's bank job? I have my ways. Now, how did you meet Ren and his crew? I know you mentioned that you owed them a favor, but how did you guys meet? Listen, I met him a few years ago through mutual acquaintances. I've done a few jobs with him and his crew. A couple business deals off and on. We basically have a business relationship. So you feel close to him as a business associate? Close? Did I say that? Hey, listen, man. What exactly do you want me to do for you? You mentioned something vaguely over the phone, but, uh... I'm gonna need more details, otherwise you're just wasting my time. What do I want? Yeah, that's what I said. What I want is for you to go to Ren's place and get my money. I'd do it myself, man, but uh, you have a special relationship with him. It'd be a lot easier if you do it. Plus, 
you'd have a better idea where he's stashing it at. I see. So you want me to do all the work in this situation while you sit there and watch? Yeah, watch you make a couple million bucks. You think I can just go in there and make the demand? You think he's just gonna hand over the money? I expect you to do some of your investigative skills, find my money and bring it back to me. Now you and I know that Ren's not gonna give me any answers if I call him myself. Look, he's not gonna give me any either. You have a better friendship, business relationship, or whatever you wanna call it. You know him better. And he trusts you on a certain level from what I hear. Who told you that? Look, man. I will pay you double of what they're paying you. We'll give you 30% of the bank money. That's 30% of $10 million, man. Do the math. Do we have a deal or not? Hey, listen, I'll think about it. Thanks for the drink. All right. That's it? That's it. Hey guys, my car's battery's out about a mile up the road and my phone's out too, so you'll help me out with some jumper cables? Yeah, maybe. Motherfucker. Lance. Yeah? Gage Teller from Temple Street, baby. Oh, shit. Oh, buddy. <laughs> What's up, man? Gage, man. What's up? I hardly recognize you in the dark. Same here, man. I almost fucking stabbed you. Oh, shit. <laughs> shit. This is my business colleague, Ren, man. Oh, hey, Lance. What's up? So what's been going on, man? What's up with you? Same old, just, uh, you know, working, taking care of my girl and the kids. Kids? Yeah, kids. Lance has kids. Lance has two kids. We just had uh, our <laughs> second one, like, uh, last week. Cool, man. That's good to hear. Same girl. Ah, uh, same girl next spring. OK. <laughs> Can I get an invite? Are you kidding? Of course, yeah. All right, I'll be there, man. What uh? What about you guys? Ah, uh, you know, we're working, man. Working a little hustle. Oh yeah. In there, yeah. Like uh, like Temple Street, that type of hustle. Uh, yeah, a little bit, a little bit. Call me a uh, private contractor for the banking industry. <laughs> nice. Yeah. Whatever that means. Yeah. Come whatever. on, man. What are you doing? Yeah, you know, it's the same kind of hustle, same kind of shit going on on Temple Street, man. Okay, yeah, man. Just like back in the day. Yeah, just a little. Or better. All right, man. Yeah, what about you? Okay. I'm cool, all right? You all got that side hustle still or not? Uh, it is a car shop, so there's opportunities everywhere. Yeah? This is with your uh, brother? Or? Yeah, with my brother. And uh, he's a good business partner. Business is, it's booming. Yeah? Yeah. Cool, man. Well, shit, you know, actually, my car's all fucked up. What? This is fate right here. Can I bring my can I bring my car to your shop? Are you kidding? Yeah, bring it by. Dude, this motherfucker's always complaining about me. My check engine light's been on and off for fucking ten years, man. <laughs> so I can bring it in. Yeah, bring it in. I'll, I'll take care of it personally. So you say your battery's broken, right? Well, yeah, it's dead. Dead, broken, whatever, man. You don't got jumper cables yourself. You're a mechanic, boy. Come on, man. All my tools are at the shop. All right, it's a dead battery. Just needs a jump. So you're gonna give me the jumper cables? Or you're gonna bust my balls? Nah, I'm just busting your fucking balls. <laughs> okay. I, mean, I think I got that shit inside, actually. So. Oh, my what hero. Street, what street you parked on? Whatever street this is. I mean, make it right out the parking lot. Go up a mile, you run right into my truck. I mean, not a gas station in the area or anyone else with jumper cables. <laughs> my luck, my phone's out. I can call AAA or anyone. But getting aggravated, man. Right. All right, man. I'm gonna go check inside. Nice. Okay, cool, thanks. Yeah. Let's see, they got this duffel bag. Looks pretty heavy. Hmm. Oh, man, they don't suspect a thing. So this is just for Frederick, right? This is the 25% cut? Yeah. 
2.5 million, huh? Yeah. That's a lot of money for a small contribution, in my opinion. Well, that's because Ren has a soft spot for this guy for some reason. He's just a little bit too generous for this guy for some reason. Oh, no, I know. I wouldn't be giving him shit, you know why? Because we barely even know this guy that well. Well, I guess I'm a nice guy. Well, yeah, that's what I'm saying. You're a, you're a nice guy. Yeah, too nice. Both of my kids could go to college with this money, man. Yeah, you know, the funny thing is, um, me, Ren, and Orion, we had like $2 million on us from this one job. This was like five, six years ago. This is when we first started out. We were working with this other crew. And at the end of the day, we owe everybody this other share. And so, like, we walk away with almost nothing, mm. right? Now, that, that was my bad because I did recommend these guys. But, see, I was hoping that we were going to get more work. See, we didn't really give a shit about money back then. Kind of job? Bank job. Bank job. Bank job. Yeah, Arizona. Yeah, I knew a guy down there with some really good intel. So we would go down there and we check it out. And we walk through it, plan it out, we execute it, we do it, everything is super good. Except for when it comes time to the split, because then we got eight hands in on a $2 million honeypot. Moral of that story is that you keep it to a minimum amount of people as much as fucking humanly possible. You trust your own and fuck everybody else. But Ren here, he's got principles. You know, Ren here, he's too generous. He wants to give everybody a, a good chunk of the take. What was that junk? Do I even want to know? Do I want to know? It was $250,000 each. It's embarrassing. <laughs> yeah. But then you got to watch out for the 6%, right? They give the government. Oh, taxes. Yeah, yeah, taxes, oh, yeah. taxes. Yeah, no, I'm a good citizen. I, I make sure to do that. I, you know, I file my, uh, my 1099s. I mean, mm hmm <laughs> Or he would like that joke. That's the uh, bad joke, but he would have uh, liked that. Um, so I'm gonna. When are we dropping this off to the guy? Later. All right. So then, should I just go into the other room? And I mean, you ready for us to take care of these guys? You ready for us to get the hell out of town? We wait. Sorry, <clears throat> I didn't. I didn't hear you. What part? Because I want to know if we're certain it was them. Okay, Ren. These were the guys, all right? Because Jerry, he did all of the fucking footwork for us and he laid it out for us, all right? Now, the guy in there, he's got a scar on his hand. And there's not going to be another person in L.A. that has a scar on his hand just like that. Now, the other, the other guy in there, okay, is just as guilty. So it's time for us to go in there and take care of him. I need you to forget about the fact that they have a couple of, they had a couple of fucking black ski masks on. And it's time for us to clean up and get the fuck out, all right? Because I know it was them. I know it was them. You know it's right, Ren. I know you know he's right. Let's dump these guys right now. Why do you doubt yourself? Where's he going? What about the cops, man? Or the rest of their crew? What if they show up? We're just sitting here waiting. Where's he going? You pissed him off, and so he left. I pissed him off. You pissed him off. All right, well, I... You, you're funny. Yeah, all right, well, we pissed him off. Seriously, though, it's time that we go in there and we grab Cyrus and Diego and we fucking put them down, okay? And then we gotta get the hell out of town, right? Oh, I completely agree. But you know Ren calls the shots. See, I do. Whatever the hell I want to do, whatever the hell I want to do it. Yeah? Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah, 
don't you boys go ahead and get up. Come on up. Oh, 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 lean up against the fucking wall, all right? I don't want y'all comfortable in my space. I mean, uh, unless you guys are ready to make a confession, right? Or do you guys want to both continue to be a bunch of dumbasses, right? You think we've been generous? Absolutely. Ah, yeah, we've been real generous. Could be worse, fellas. You guys killed my little brother, so this shit could get a lot worse. Could get a lot worse. Hey, look, bro. We were at the bank. That was us. But, uh, I don't know who shot your brother. We were all shooting. So, if you're gonna kill us, then fucking kill us. Ah, see, but look, I know you won't. At least not without your boyfriend giving you to say so. <laughs> <laughs> look, man, some shit just business. We just happened to run into you guys at the same time we were gonna hit the bank. It's just a coincidence. It's just a coincidence? Like me having this fucking gun to your head, that's just a fucking coincidence, right? And this little finger right here, I put that shit on the trigger and I pull back and a bullet goes through your fucking head and that's just a fucking coincidence, right? Because it's just fucking business, right? Hey, bro. He's right, man. We've had that place scoped out for a while now. When we went in there and seen you guys with guns, we thought you were going to shoot at us. You guys seemed on edge. We didn't mean to kill you, brother. It was self-defense. Why are you lying? Why are y'all fucking around? I don't like fucking around. Well, who sent you? That's all we want to know is who sent you. Look, I already told you everything. Nobody sent us. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but see, I look at the two of you guys and I just know you're not smart enough to be able to pull a fucking bank job on your own, you know what I mean? Like, you bitches tying your own shoes is gonna require a group effort, right? I know where you're from, east side, west side, north side, south side, bay side, fucking Disneyland. I don't give a shit where the fuck you're from, you get me? Yeah, that's nice. We don't give a fuck where you're from either. Oh, good. All right, well, we got that shit settled. Won't both you fucking bitches get down on the ground? Gage, give him a little incentive. Both of you. There you go. Good dogs. Good dogs. Good dogs. All the fucking way down. All the way down. Hmm. Well, you tell me right the fuck now why I don't just fucking put a bullet through your goddamn head and then put one through your fucking boyfriend's head right afterwards. Sue huh? me, pussy! Yeah, you ain't gonna do shit, right? Yeah, you ain't gonna do shit. Ow, motherfucker! Ow! Mm -hmm. Sue me, motherfucker! Sue me! Oh. Hold this for me for a second, please. No problem. You. Look at me. Look at me. All right? Now, are you going to tell me what I want to know, or are you going to be a smart ass like your little fucking friend here, huh? Huh? <laughs> oh, you're going to go fucking quiet, huh? It's fucking good because I'm going to be right the fuck back. What's the deal, huh? We're gonna kill these guys and get out of town? We're just wasting time by chilling and waiting, man, all right? These guys just made out a joke out of the fact that they killed Orion, okay? So let's get the fucking killing revolvers, let's kill these guys, and let's get the fuck out of town. Hell yeah. Okay.
Get up. <laughs> Come on. <sighs> oh, look who it is. The three bitches. Y'all gonna shoot us or what? I mean, if y'all gonna do it, then do it. Shut the fuck up, okay? Nobody told you to say a goddamn thing. Fuck you, pussy! Shoot! Whoever said we were gonna shoot you? Yes, do it. Show me! Yeah. Huh? And you ain't gonna do shitty. Ah! Ah! Yeah, you like that, huh? Now you're gonna be like this worthless piece of shit. Are you gonna tell us what we need to know? Now who set us up at the Westland Bank downtown? <sighs> Fuck you. Fuck was that? I don't know. Did you invite somebody? Is it the fucking girls? talking about? Don't play dumb with me. Jerry, right, you're losing your mind, man. We're all friends here. Shut up, Jesse. I'm talking to Ren. This is between me and him. Who are you working for? What am I working for? I work for myself, motherfucker! Where's the money from the goddamn bank? It's not yours. You're not gonna get any of it. You're not even gonna see a fucking dollar of it, Jerry. Did I tell you to shut the fuck up? Look, Jerry, I don't know what's going on with you right now, okay? But I got a couple of good ideas. Right now, you got a gun on him, and I got a fucking gun on you. So unless you want to get hurt, you better put your fucking gun down! You know what? I don't really give a fuck. He sent me. He wanted his money. Couldn't say no, man. He offered me three mil. <laughs> Sorry. It's just business, man. Just business. Someone? Yeah. What up, kid? And you were smart enough to come deliver my fair share of the money. After all, you owe me. Well, you strap. 
If they shoot me or what? You know, I thought Jerry was two fucking idiots who would have taken care of what I wanted. I guess not. Knowing you, my guess is they're all dead, aren't they? Some people never change, man. We well, better lighten up because you're in my house now, motherfucker. You're taking this shit too far. Nah, man. You're taking this shit too far. Who'd you come with? Oh, you don't want to answer my questions, huh? One what's in the bag, man. Open it! Put the stacks of cash on the couch, man. One by one, motherfucker. 